Investing in the stock market can be a viable and rewarding way to build wealth, but it requires a solid understanding of the market and a disciplined approach to investing. This video is inspired by the book A Beginner's Guide to the Stock Market by Matthew R. Cratter and gives you a strong foundation of knowledge including an understanding of how to get started in the stock market, key investment terms, how the stock market works, the principles of fundamental analysis, and at the end of the video key lessons for successful investing. Ultimately, the book teaches that successful investing is not about making quick profits or trying to time the market, but rather about building a diversified portfolio of high-quality stocks and holding them for the long term. By following these principles, the author argues, anyone can become a successful investor in the stock market. In the following minutes, we will discuss what the stock market is, how to buy your first stock, how to make money in the stock market, and the most important lessons for investing success. First of all, what is the stock market? In essence, the stock market is a marketplace where investors can buy and sell shares of ownership in publicly traded companies. When a company wants to raise money to fund its operations, it can issue shares to the public. Each share represents a small piece of ownership in the company. Investors who purchase shares become shareholders in the company and are entitled to a portion of the company's profits known as dividends. The stock market provides a platform for these shares to be traded among investors. Companies list their shares on stock exchanges such as the New York Stock Exchange or the Nasdaq stock market, which act as intermediaries between buyers and sellers. Investors can buy and sell shares through brokerage firms or online trading platforms, and the stock exchange facilitates these transactions. There are a variety of reasons for someone to buy stocks, but the most common motivation is the potential for profit. When a company performs well and its profits increase, its stock price tends to rise as well. This means that investors who bought the stock when it was cheaper can sell it for a profit when the price increases. Conversely, if a company performs poorly, its stock price may decline, and investors who bought the stock when it was more expensive may suffer losses. This means, investing in the stock market is not without risks. The value of stocks can fluctuate widely, and the market is subject to economic and political events that can cause sudden changes in stock prices. Moreover, individual companies can experience problems such as bankruptcy, management issues, or competition, that can cause their stock prices to plummet. Despite the risks, many people invest in the stock market because of its potential for long-term growth. Historically, the stock market has provided higher returns than other types of investments such as bonds or savings accounts. Additionally, investing in the stock market can provide diversification for an investor's portfolio, reducing the overall risk of their investments. Next, how does the stock market work? The stock market is a complex system that involves a variety of participants including companies, investors, brokers and regulators. When an investor places an order to buy or sell a stock, their order is routed to the exchange where the stock is listed. The exchange then matches the buyer with the seller and executes the trade. This process happens in a matter of seconds and is facilitated by sophisticated computer systems. The price of a stock is determined by supply and demand. If more people want to buy a stock than sell it, the price will go up. Conversely, if more people want to sell a stock than buy it, the price will go down. In addition to buying and selling stocks, investors can also make money through dividends. Dividends are payments made by a company to its shareholders as a portion of its profits. Not all companies pay dividends, and those that do may pay them on a regular basis or sporadically. The stock market also plays an important role in the economy as a whole. When companies are doing well and their stock prices are rising, it can be a sign of a healthy economy. Investors who are making money in the stock market may be more likely to spend money, which can stimulate economic growth. On the other hand, when stock prices decline, it can be a sign of economic troubles and can cause investors to become more cautious. Regulators such as the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, play an important role in ensuring that the stock market operates fairly and transparently. They enforce rules and regulations that protect investors and prevent fraud and other abuses. How to buy your first stock After understanding the fundamentals, you've made the decision to invest in the stock market and you may even have a few stocks in mind that you're interested in buying. However, what is the process for actually buying those shares? First of all, choose a brokerage firm. Before you can buy stocks, you need to open an account with a brokerage firm. There are many options to choose from, including online brokerages or traditional brokerages. 
online brokerages are financial service providers that allow investors to buy and sell through an online trading platform with typically lower fees and commissions than traditional brokerages. Online brokerages are typically self-directed, meaning investors are responsible for making their own investment decisions and managing their own portfolios. However, many online brokers also offer educational resources, customer support, and investment advice for an additional fee. On the other hand, traditional brokerages are full-service firms that offer a range of investment services and products, including wealth management, financial planning, and retirement planning. These firms typically have physical offices where investors can meet with financial advisors and brokers. However, they often charge higher fees and commissions than online brokers due to the additional services and support they provide. Overall, online brokerages may be a better choice for those looking for low fees and a self-directed approach, while traditional brokerages may be better suited for those seeking personalized investment advice and a full suite of financial services. The next step is to fund your account. Once you've chosen a brokerage firm, you'll need to fund your account. This can be done through a bank transfer, wire transfer, by mailing a check or other methods, depending on the brokerage. Make sure you understand the fees involved and how long it takes for your funds to be available for trading. Next, you need to choose which stock to buy if you haven't already. This is where you'll need to do some research and analysis. Also, check out my other videos which cover this part in detail. Generally, Look for companies that are financially stable, have strong earnings growth, a competitive advantage, and preferably a history of paying dividends. This can be done through fundamental analysis, which involves analyzing a company's financial statements and key metrics to determine its financial health and potential for growth. Now comes the fun part. Place your order. Once you've decided which stock to buy, you'll need to place your order. This can be done through your brokerage's website or mobile app. You'll need to specify the number of shares you want to buy and the price you're willing to pay. You can choose to buy at the current market price, known as market order, or specify a specific price called limit order. After you've bought your stock, it's important to monitor your investment. Keep an eye on the company's financial performance and news or events that could impact the stock's price. Remember that investing in stocks involves risk, so be prepared for ups and downs in the market. It's a good idea to diversify your investments by buying a variety of stocks or investing in mutual funds or exchange-traded funds or ETFs that provide exposure to a broader range of stocks. In addition to these steps, you should have a long-term investment strategy and sticking to it. Don't get caught up in short-term market fluctuations or try to time the market. Focus on your long-term goals and stay disciplined. Overall, trading stocks can be an exciting and rewarding experience. With some research and careful consideration, you can make informed investment decisions that can help you achieve your financial goals. Next on the line, how to build a whole portfolio. A portfolio is a collection of investments including stocks, bonds, and other assets. The goal of building a portfolio is to balance risk and return to achieve sustainable financial success. The first step in building a winning portfolio is to determine your investment goals and risk tolerance. Afterwards, allocate your investments between stocks and other assets. For example, a younger investor with a longer investment horizon may have a higher allocation to stocks, while an older investor who is closer to retirement may have a higher allocation to bonds. Also, diversification can reduce risk by lowering the impact of any one investment on the portfolio by investing in a variety of assets, sectors, industries, and geographic regions. It's important to monitoring your portfolio regularly and adjust as necessary. This may involve rebalancing your portfolio to maintain your desired asset allocation, selling underperforming investments, and adding new investments that align with your investment goals and risk tolerance. A diversified and balanced portfolio has the potential to generate sustainable long-term returns. Finally, let's have a look on the key lessons for investing success. First of all, it's important to have a strategy when it comes to investing in the stock market. Investing without a strategy is essentially gambling, one strategy to maximize returns is value investing, which involves identifying stocks that are trading below their intrinsic value. This aims to buy stocks at a discount and sell them when they are overvalued. Another strategy is growth investing, which focuses on investing in companies that are expected to experience rapid growth in the future. You could also use the concept of income investing, which focuses on stocks that pay dividends for a steady source of income. Especially for beginners, it is essential to be aware of the emotions that can arise when investing in the stock market. 
Successful investors don't try to time the market or make quick profits by buying and selling frequently. Keep your emotions in check when making investment decisions. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement of the stock market and make impulsive decisions based on fear or greed. Instead, stick to your strategy and remain disciplined even in the face of market fluctuations. Due to the compound interest effect, this is a more sustainable and profitable approach in the long term. Another important lesson is to diversify one's portfolio. Investing in a mix of stocks from different sectors and industries spreads the risk and avoids overexposure to any one company or sector. While regularly reviewing and adjusting your portfolio to stay aligned with your goals and risk tolerance, diversifying across different asset classes can further reduce risk.